How's it going, YouTube? If you've ever tried to remove the diffuser from a fluorescent light, you'll quick quickly realize that it's often very difficult to actually get it off and especially to get it back in. Uh, you're trying to bend it and fold it and try not to crack it, trying not to hurt your lights in it, and it's catching on every edge. And uh, this is just a quick video, which might be common knowledge to people, um, you know, people in maintenance or contractors, that kind of thing. They might know this, but your regular Joe might not know this. So up here, you might have a little extra piece that you can just remove on each side. And I'm just gonna set my phone down, down here. And I'm gonna get very tall, very quickly. All right, so here we are. <laughs> and here this is. The scratchy side goes on the inside. Always remember that because that's what splits the light to diffuse it, right? So I've removed that side and that side. So now this is gonna slip in this way, no problem. And then we just have to work it a little bit to fit in all the way there, but much easier than normal, right? And I hope that doesn't fall on me. <laughs> I should have had one of these in my hand already. All right, and now we just slide this in to that back side. Uh, let's see, it might snap in. Let's see here. So that has a little hole, and there is indeed a little uh, sort of screw area there. So like so. And yeah, let's see if you can see that. Yeah, so there's a little hole right there. And uh, there's sort of a little screw that just sort of goes on that, right? So, and do the exact same thing on the other side. Great. And that's all there is to it. So if you like the video, I guess uh, like and subscribe, but currently not monetizing on my video, so it doesn't make a difference to me. But anyway, whatever, have a good one.